as I've mentioned before, I get all these questions. And what I find really interesting is that people are ordering the coax ready-made because a lot of people don't know how to fit a connector. I'm going to show you now how to fit a screw on PL259. Not everyone has got crimping tools. So we will first do the normal screw on with solder and then next time we'll do a crimp one. So we'll start with RG58. The next one I'll do will be RG213. I'm just going to make like two minute videos. So if this helps you, cool. So we'll do we'll do PL259 for RG58, PL259 for RG213 and then we'll do BNC for a crimp on for RG58 and BNC screw on for RG58. Uh, the BNCs, you've got your most chance of making a, a short circuit and with a multimeter you can make sure that it's not shorting anyway. So here we go. We got solder, RG58. So before we do anything, and something that's probably the most important is to put, so this is how the PL259 comes apart, pretty easy. The collar goes on first because you will have situations where you've made a cock up and you've put this whole thing on, soldered it and forgotten to put the collar on. And uh, that happens, so we put the collar on. Then what I normally do, I say okay, um, the center core has probably got to go that far, so I'm going to cut it back approximately there. In the old days, we didn't know that lead was not good for you, so I have held solder in my mouth for, I don't know, 20 years. So I pull back the braiding. This is decent quality coax. If you buy cheap coax, the braiding is aluminium and it's often got like a tin foil uh, shielding. So we've done that. So now I'm going to strip this and I'm going to solder it. I'm going to twist it a bit like so and then I'm going to solder it. If you don't solder it, you can have the, the strands coming loose and then it can short easier. There we go. I'm still going to use my soldering iron just now. So I'm not going to turn it off. I then take this, it's got the, it's the uh, diameter for RG58. I put it over and I'll start turning it. So you'll see the center of the coax is through there and then I'll just turn it. So if you look in there, you can see that the insulation around the center part of the coax is now visible in that window and the coax is coming through the top. So a few more turns and then you can see the center of the coax. As soon as it gets hot, or hot enough, the solder will almost suck into the, the end. So there we've got there we've got a PL259 fitted onto the coax. If you are going to use it outdoors, well, number one, I think you should get um, vulcanizing tape, something like this, and then you wind it around to stop moisture penetration. I must say, I like heat shrink. I find heat shrink makes things really neat. So you take a little piece of heat shrink. So we do that. Take a lighter. And there we go. I think that looks really neat. It's 
So that would be the, the finished product. Putting the connector on, how do you check that the connector hasn't shorted? Um, really not hard. You'll notice here, I hope you can see, that I've got it on diode. So what are we going to do? We've put the connectors on. We then go from the outside to the outside. And you should hear continuity. Outside to inside, there shouldn't be anything. And when we go inside to inside, we've got continuity. But outside to inside, there must obviously be no short. And that's how you test that it's that easy. All you need is a cheap multimeter and you can check your connector.